Hello and welcome to the Pro Yaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 50, Latino Pitchers. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. On the Pro Yaki community at Google+, Francisco Hilario recently asked about the impact of Latino pitchers in NPB. Well, it seems to me that Chunichi has been doing quite well with imports from South America in recent years. But does the statistical body support that observation? And more generally, what countries are producing the most players in NPB in both quantity and quality? First, let's take a look at Chunichi. I have 25 foreign-born players on Chunichi's rosters since 1996. It appears that the push for South American players really started in 2002 with Martin Vargas. Domingo Guzman joined the Dragons a couple years later, and, you know, it looks like, with the exception of 2008, they've had at least two players from South America ever since. Also of note, 14 of the 15 South American pitchers for Chunichi were born in the Dominican Republic, Enelbert Soto being the only South American from Venezuela in 2011 and 2012. From Asia, Sung Dong Yol was the Dragons' closer for the end of the 1990s. The next Korean pitcher that the Dragons signed was Song Sang Hoon, who they drafted out of a Korean high school in the fall of 2011 as a pitcher. He allowed two earned runs in two thirds of an inning, pitched over two games at Nigun, before converting to being an outfielder. He has yet to break into Ichigun. The brightest star that they've had from Taiwan has been Chen Wei Yin, who had a bit of a false start. He was dropped to being an Ikse, or developmental player, for a couple of years, then came back strong. He and Chunichi did have a bit of a falling out over his free agency status after 2010, then he headed to the majors after the 2011 season. After soon retired from the Dragons as their closer, American Eddie Gaylord came in to be their closer, starting from the 2000s. Hitoki Iwase then took over in the closing role full-time since 2004. Melvin Bunch and Mark Valdez were the only other North American pitchers who have had any staying power with Chunichi so far in the 21st century. But since Gaylords and Valdez, it's been pretty much all Dominican foreigners on the mound in Nagoya. Adding everything up, Dominicans have thrown far and away the most innings of any foreign nationals for the Dragons, and all of them throwing since 2002. While their combined 3.42 ERA is the worst of the five countries represented, it's to be expected that there will be some hit-and-miss players when a team brings over that many from a single group. The next largest representation is from the USA, and it just goes to follow that they've got the next worst record. Sosha, as the only representative from Venezuela, was simply a hit there in the large Nagoya Dome. And the Asian imports that they brought in, while few, have also been of very high quality. So, what about the league imports as a whole? First of all, I think it's a good idea to narrow down the pool a little bit. So, I've only considered players at Ichigun from 2009 to 2013, a five-year time span. For comparison, I also threw in the Japan list. That's 450 players born in Japan who had pitched at Ichigun over the last five seasons. 
That averages to 37 and a half pitchers per team. The U.S. has the most representatives born in a foreign country pitching over the five-year time span. As with a large number of pitchers born in Japan, the ERA for the U.S. pitchers reflects a very wide skill set. U.S. pitchers coming up just two one-hundredths of an earned run per nine innings worse. Even with 15 pitchers coming from the Dominican Republic, the South American block comes in with just 33 pitchers. That's just under half of the combined U.S. and Canada, or North American block, total of 67. Overall for South American representatives, the Dominican pitchers appear to be doing the best, but again, the sample size for many of the countries is just too small to say anything for certain. I'm personally surprised at how little Asia is represented over the last five years. The few Korean-born pitchers are doing well, but I thought there were more of them. Taiwan comes up one pitcher less than Venezuela, although producing more than twice the number of wins with almost three times the number of innings pitched. As always, the data is available with a link from the show notes at either the Google Plus ProYaku community or on the Bayside West Yokohama blog at JapaneseBaseball.com. And with that, I submit to you this week's ProYaku report. Thank you for joining me, and until next week, take care.